Alright, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about alchemy. Alchemy, you know, that format that everyone hated. Is it dead? Is it dying? It seems kind of dead. Uh, the reason or the, the metric that I'm gauging this is just uh, how many content creators I know that are making alchemy content and it seems to have just completely dried up. Is that just me? Even on like Etherhub, if you're not familiar, Etherhub is a deck posting website, but they also let content creators post their videos to the site. So there's a constant feed of, of YouTube videos if you're interested in that, or you can just ignore it and it's a regular deck building site. But they have a deck videos page, and when Alchemy was first released, it was like 90% Alchemy. It was just pure Alchemy. I felt like an outsider there, because I wasn't doing Alchemy. I, I don't care about Alchemy. I don't really like the format, so I just didn't give a crap. So I was like the only person posting standard and an absolute sea of alchemy and now that seems to have changed like already everyone's moved on there's like maybe two or three alchemy videos per page seems uh seems kind of bad so why is that what's what's going on what's going on with the format and it might change by the way before we move on let me just say it might change as uh because we have the kamigawa cards right there they release a new set and then like a month later they do the 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 additional the, the made for alchemy card so we'll, we'll be getting those and there'll be some hype and stuff like that i bet i'm guessing it's also possible that everyone just plays standard when a new set gets added to standard and everyone plays alchemy when the alchemy cards are added i don't know but either way it, it, it seems a lot quieter than it was before and I, I just want to talk about why i think that is and why it's not in my opinion a long-term sustainable format so first off the, the most obvious thing the format rotates monthly every month they do rebalances the format rotates basically and historically with standard the stereotype and this is a stereotype but the stereotype with standard is that people tend to play through like one or two rotations uh, basically people get into magic they build a deck they play for several months then standard rotates maybe they play during the next standard rotation but after a year after that after another big rotation that's like the breaking point where they either stop playing altogether or they move to a non-rotating format like commander or modern obviously that's a stereotype i can't say how many people actually do that exactly but generally speaking people just tend to quit playing magic uh during a hard rotation period the reason being of course multiple reasons some people just can't afford to buy a new deck when standard rotates some people don't like any of the new decks right like most newer players have a a set type of deck that they like to play they like to play aggro they like to play control you know they, they have a certain color they like they have a certain archetype or or a play style that they prefer and if standard rotates and that isn't represented then those people tend to just kind of drop off because they don't have a deck that they enjoy playing and that's why formats like modern legacy commander are so good is because chances are you know if you like playing red aggro there's a red aggro deck playable somewhere if you like playing uh you know azorius control there's a blue white control deck playable somewhere right there, there's there's a playable deck for every archetype somewhere but that's not always true for standard with standard uh sometimes certain archetypes just disappear for years so if somebody gets into magic and they really like an archetype and then standard rotates and that's not playable anymore they either have to adapt and sometimes they do right sometimes they play a new deck and a new rotation in the new environment in the new meta but other times they just drop off so this the stereotype is every single rotation you get some drop off you get some player drop off some people just bail out uh, whether they don't have a deck they like whether they don't have the money to invest in a new deck whatever people drop out and the the safety net for those players is non-rotating formats because they can build a commander deck uh with the archetype that they like and you know guarantee to have a deck they enjoy playing or uh, just have a deck that's good permanently instead of one that rotates so that's great right and the problem with alchemy is it rotates monthly so so you're you're getting that drop off faster if it's true and it's not exactly true but if it was true if you could prove 100 percent that the average person lasts two rotations and then they're gone what well, we're at our what second or third rotation now already so it, it makes sense now i will say that the major problem with alchemy isn't necessarily the rebalancing it's the new cards it's the new made for alchemy cards that really just kills the format for me personally i've said this before i said this in my last pack opening i spend 50 dollars per set and with 50 dollars per set i have basically 
every standard deck imaginable. I have a lot of the cards and I have enough wild cards that I can basically build every single deck. Like here's here's untapped. This is a really cool program you can download. It's a tracker. It tracks your games. It tracks your collection and stuff. But it will track your wild cards and your collection. And then you can look at the tier decks and it will show you how many wild cards it would take for you to craft those decks. And if you look, first off, as I'm recording this, I have 49 rare wild cards and 50 some mythics and you can see that almost every deck only requires like three to four rare wild cards to build and there's a lot of overlap between those decks too like uh thalia for example i have three of them a lot of the white decks play four so if i crafted one thalia that would reduce one rare wild card from many of those decks um Edgar too. I, I don't ha I don't own a single Edgar. Somehow I just haven't opened one. But if I just crafted four of those, every single black white deck would would go down like completely. So the point is, my account is stacked enough that I would have no problem playing a rebalanced standard. Right? If standard just rebalanced, that'd be fine for me because I can just I can build whatever. I have the cards to play whatever. So if uh, like with this last rebalancing, the dungeon mechanic from Forgotten Realms got more powerful. If that was a top tier deck, I already probably have most of those cards. I did the starter deck upgrade, so I, I crafted a lot of those cards already. So uh, I have that. That exists in my account. And if that became a top tier deck, it wouldn't be difficult for me to just maybe spend a couple wild cards to finish it off and then have that deck. And that'd be really fun, right? For someone like me with a stacked account and enough wild cards to craft basically any deck. That's pretty cool because, I, you know, if the, the metagame gets stale, it rebalances. Now there's cool new decks. There's new decks to play. There's new decks to play against. It's just different, right? It's same standard, the same standard, just different decks are more powerful and less powerful. So it shakes up the metagame and that's cool. But then there's these made for alchemy cards and it's like hundreds of wild cards required to, to craft them all. And that just kills it. It's like, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to spend 40 rare wild cards to get all the new the new alchemy cards. And that, that just kills the, the whole point. It, it ruins it. It ruins, the, ruins the, the format for me. I'm not doing that. Not spending wild cards on decks that are going to rotate monthly doesn't make sense to do that that's just silly so because of that the format's just garbage in my opinion it, it's the idea isn't bad the idea isn't bad but the month by month rotation coupled with the price of all the new cards all the rare wild cards required to craft the the new rare cards makes the format absolute garbage in my opinion and judging by what i've seen uh other people just aren't playing it very much either and it makes perfect sense it's a monthly rotating format of course it's not gonna you're not gonna be sustainable people are gonna drop off every rotation and the rotations are very quick so it makes sense it makes sense that it's it's not going to work long term so um we'll see if alchemy uh, survives um again there will be hype content creators will hype it up when new cards are spoiled and previewed and stuff. Um, so, you know, it, it could be a, a format that kind of flares up for a few weeks after new cards are added. Because, you know, your your favorite YouTubers and whatnot are going to show you all the cool new cards and the cool new decks. The, the unbeatable new decks that they built and all that stuff with these new cards. So, yeah, I, I would expect it to flare up a little bit among uh, YouTube and Twitch and stuff. But... It's just not a fun format to play, in my opinion. It's just, it's so expensive. I just don't want to. And if the, if the new to Arena or the, the digital only cards didn't exist, would fundamentally change how I feel about it. But as it is, it's, it's a big no for me. And it seems, uh, from what I've seen, that other people are, are feeling the same. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm just seeing the, the, the format less popular in my, my, my own YouTube feed. So I don't know if that's true for everyone else, but it's possible that the format is, is trailing off i think i checked mtg goldfish and they don't even have decks on their metagame tracking page so <laughs> i just i don't know man i don't know what's going on with it but it, I, i'm not surprised i'm surprised people played it at all to be honest that was the most shocking thing i i, I saw when uh when it rotated when it got rebalanced um i saw like uh vince uh probably better known as pleasant kenobi complaining about how he didn't get like his wild cards redeemed or something and it's like people were playing this why 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 were why were people playing why were people spending wild cards on this guys if you take anything from this please 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 do not spend wild cards on a format that rotates every month it's a very bad idea right it's a very very bad investment of your wild cards don't do that please because remember if you're spending wild cards on the top tier decks the entire point of the format 
is to axe the top tier every month, right? You take the top tier decks, you cut them down, and you bring new cards and new decks up. So investing wild cards and cards that are guaranteed or, or very, very likely to get nerfed in a month is not a good investment. Very, very bad, very poor investment. Don't do that. And the most frustrating thing about this, I said from the beginning, don't invest wild cards in this format. But, you know, naturally other content creators hyped it up and, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a magic arena is so good now. Look at this new format. But, I mean, it's obvious, right? You're investing wild cards in a format that rotates constantly. Don't listen to wh whoever's telling you to craft this deck or craft that deck or craft these cards. Don't craft cards for alchemy, please. It's, it's a bad idea. Really bad idea. You can play alchemy if you already have the cards. But if you're crafting decks specifically for that format, those decks could become worthless in the matter of days or weeks. So just be aware of that. And it seems like more people are coming around to that, which I think it's good. And, you know, maybe Wizards of the Coast will make adjustments. If they stop making these new cards, that'd be great. If it was just rebalanced, that'd be fantastic. Would love that because then you could just play your standard decks in a different format, which would be great. And you could use these standard cards that you already have in a slightly rebalanced and different meta, which would be great. Would love that. But as it is with these new digital only, you know, made for alchemy cards, um, don't craft those with your wild cards, especially if you're crafting them in a tier one deck, because that, that's just guaranteed to be bad for you. But it's, it's, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed if there's a tier one deck and you're crafting an alchemy card for that deck, that that card's going to be useless at the end of the month. So just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, screw this format. Screw it. Screw alchemy. Screw these new cards. And if they change their mind and they stop making these new alchemy cards and they just rebalance standard, I'll, I'll change my tune. But as it is, format's bad. And I'm hoping that from what I'm seeing that other people are coming around to that. So there you go, guys. That's all I have to say about it. Thanks for watching. Screw alchemy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.